We're always looking for something unusual or different for the Henderson Classic Car Roll-Ins Car of the Week, and this week is certainly no exception. Uh, throughout the history of America, the hearse has been a very formidable unit, but not necessarily shown at car shows or anything like that. We think back to the days of the horse and buggy. The hearse was an elaborately carved and gold inlaid vehicle or wagon or trailer as you would call it. And up to today when we have these elaborate vehicles like Mitchell Hall's 1970 Cadillac hearse. Now many people are familiar with Mitchell Hall and the Tennessee Trio with his uh, tribute to Johnny Cash. He's very popular in the Midwest and I, the way his popularity is growing, I believe it will be national before too many years. And Mitch, we're very happy to have you here with your Cadillac. Yes. He did not build this one piece at a time. <laughs> he actually purchased this vehicle and it has a very unique local history that we'll get to in just a minute. But uh, Mitch, you say this car is how long? Uh, 21 feet. And the engine is a... Uh, 472 with a four barrel, 375 horsepower and 525 foot pounds of torque. So I bet uh, when you tromp on this, it's hotter than a pepper sprout, huh? It is, and boy, I tell you, you see the, uh, the fuel basically is like water. It goes right on down. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit, and that's what I think will be very unique to the local people, the history of this vehicle. It was made in... It was made in Michigan, and it was at a limo service for about five years, from 1970 through 75. And the next owners ended up going to Chesvold and Fenchke Funeral Home right out of Henderson, Belle Plaine, Lesueur, and Arlington. It was originally, it would have been to Arlington. That's where Chesvold yep. was first of all, and then Fenske came in and w with uh, Chesvold and then also the funeral home in Belle Plaine. And then eventually Fenske's was bought out by, by uh, Colden's. Yep. So a lot of the people in the Arlington, Green Isle, Belle Plaine, Henderson, Lesueur area probably went to their final resting place in this classy Cadillac. And it's amazing for a 1970 what nice a shape it's in. Now, Mitch, you purchased this from an individual in South St. Paul. In South St. Paul. So uh, this car went through a few owners after the uh, funeral service was done with this car um, and decommissioned it basically. Went to a guy um, out of Wasika, Minnesota. So it stayed in Minnesota all its life pretty much. Um, and again, very solid car, kept it clean, no rust, um, all original paint, everything's original. Um, the, the owner out of Wasika had it for about 20 or so years, drove it once in a while, and then it ended up sitting in a barn pretty much rotting away. Um, tires were flat, hubcaps were shot, brakes, carburetor. Um, and then another owner in mid-2000s, around 2005, 2006, owner purchased it out of Rochester. He fixed it all up, did the carburetor brakes, new tires, new white walls, new hubcaps, everything. Um, he ended up getting rid of it recently, gave it to a guy out of South St. Paul. He had it for about a year, and then I purchased it. And you are sort of using this as a promotional vehicle for the, yourself and the Tennessee Trio? For my band, yes. Uh, basically, what would Johnny Cash do? He'd buy a black Cadillac, and some of the stuff that he did back in the day was pretty crazy. I think maybe he'd buy a hearse. So Tuesday, this will be the car of the week in Henderson. You might say it's going to be in the ring of fire in Henderson, as we have it on display <laughs> on the corner there. It reminds me of a Johnny Cash song that uh, the night that Hank Williams came to town. Well, with uh, the familiarity of Mitchell Hall and the Tennessee Trio and how popular they're going to be, maybe two years from now, somebody will be saying, I went to Henderson the night Mitchell Hall brought his hearse to Henderson, to the classic car Rollins. So we hope to see you all there. Mitchell, thank you very much. Thank you.